Wow, what an ugly day for fintech stocks. Also, Chinese stocks was down today. Look at PayPal is down over 2%. And guess what? It made another 52 weeks low along with Square. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at a two-year daily chart. You can see today it hit a low of 50.25. I don't know what's going on with these fintech stocks. They're making new 52 weeks lows every other day. The stock was trading at $310. And I made a video yesterday saying that there's going to be a lot of downside to these stocks because of the overall sentiment. And I don't know when that sentiment is going to change. And also, we saw that yesterday there was a huge options for puts that was the 50 strike. So 5,700 volume or open interest, 940 volume trading. And we can see that people are buying calls for next week. They do have earnings along with Square. Let me know if you think PayPal or Square is going to go up or is it going to go down like all the other earnings? I just don't see it going up. We have a lot of stocks that reported earnings. Amazon, which did well. We had Meta, Google, and some of the stocks that reported earnings did beat their top and bottom line. But since they reported a very soft guidance, guess what? It dropped. So I don't think PayPal or Square is going to go up. And unfortunately, I lost a lot of money in these stocks. We can see that MasterCard MA yesterday it went down from 370 all the way to 364 or 390. It was trading almost at 390, went down to 365 yesterday. And Visa again huge sell off. The stock market is trending down and I should have known that September was a bearish month and as long as well as October but didn't hedge didn't close out anything and now I'm down huge and I've been losing money since 2020 after ever since my big loss in June of 2021 you can see square what an ugly day for square it also made a 52 weeks low, hit a low of 38.91 and actually started selling off pre-market. Pre-market it was before pre-market it was around $42, hit a low of 38.91 and we are just trading at $40. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options chain here. Again, they also have earnings next week and you can see a lot of People are buying puts to hedge, especially the 40 call or 40 puts. We have 4,300 volume that's traded there. So what's going on here? This news was today. It says October 27th. It's more than just a world line hangover for payment stock stocks. Here's what's going on. Payment stocks are falling on a Friday for a few reasons. It started Wednesday when the French payments company Worldline slashed its full-year financial guidance, warning of an economic slowdown in Europe. Shares of PayPal and Block dropped by 0.1% and 8% a day. On Thursday, PayPal closed 0.5% higher while Block closed 0.1% lower. But on Friday, the stocks were both down 2.2% and 3.3%. I believe today's decline is related to a few things. The continued world line hangover, fear of more consumer slowing, and competitive, competitive threats from Apple as it gets bigger in the buy now, pay later space. All three are hurting the payment space near term. The, that Apple represents a risk is new. This summer, Barron's wrote about the challenges Apple Pay poses to PayPal. PayPal's third quarter earnings be released on Wednesday sh sh should shed light on whether the company's view of the outlook is as gloomy as world lines. Investors are going to focus on stabilization in its core business along with commentary around the consumer plus revenue growth. 
Any more indication of a slowdown in spending will weigh on sentiment. Overall, it sounds like folks are cautiously optimistic. New management can turn the story around. So, I don't think PayPal is PayPal or Block is going to see sixty dollars this year. Unfortunately, just only a few months left. And I am definitely scared of earnings because the past few earnings, what happened? It gapped down. Let's take a look at this. Square was trading at eighty dollars before last quarter's earnings. Eighty dollars. You see, it just it was just was just in August, and we are approaching November, so that's three months. Went from eighty to forty, half. PayPal. Same thing happened. You can see here. So this was earnings back in May. It dropped to a low of sixty before going back up to seventy five for it to go back down the last quarter's earnings. So I mean, what's different this time around? Of the sentiment hasn't changed, and it's getting more competitive. But we're just gonna have to see. Hopefully, it just stays flat without selling off. Hopefully, some good news for these fintech stocks. And it's just not, not only these stocks, but a lot of other stocks are down. We have J and J. That's a healthcare stock, a dividend stock. And see, made a fifty-two weeks low, one forty-four. And a lot of consumer stocks, Hershey's, Targets, they're all down as well. So the only stocks that are currently up for the year are the Magnificent Seven and. I wish I poured my money into those stocks: Tesla, Nvidia, Google, Amazon. Because if we did, we would actually be up instead of down for the year. Let me know your comments. Are you buying more PayPal or Block? And thanks for watching.